Hey guys, Tyler here, and thank you for checking out this video. And I'm finally back. I know it's been like almost a year at this point, but we have more pets to tame here in World of Warcraft. So in this video, it's going to be pets available to all three hunter specs, whether you be survival, marksman, or beast mastery. I've got you covered. There's going to be some from the old world still, some that were added once again, like a lot of these other specialty named uh, rares back in Mists of Pandaria, and then also some brand new for Dragonfly and how you can tame those the easiest. So, let's get started. Mr. Eggplant presents. And if you don't see a certain pet that you like, be sure and check out the rest of the videos in the Hunter Pet Tame playlist. I have that down in the description of the video. There's also links to like a 10.1.5 Marksman Hunter Guide, that sort of thing, if that is something that you'd be interested in. Well, let's go ahead and check out the first pet on my list. And the first pet on my list is going to be one that's been in the game for quite some time, but has not been tameable for us on our hunters. And that's going to be a spirit darter. And this is going to be a spectral fey darter. And it's found here in the Jade Forest, just basically over here where the Zandalari Warbringers can spawn. I, I did actually take that one out over there. And this is going to be an absolutely beautiful spectral, in air quotes, uh, spirit darter that's going to be that cerulean light blue. It's like an icy blue. Uh, these are finally tameable because they are considered lesser dragonkin. And as of Dragonflight, once you get to Renown 23, which should be super easy to do, uh, with the Valdraken Accord, you can purchase the book How to Train Your Dragonkin. So I will put a link to that item in the description of the video. And there's going to be several uh, lesser dragonkin on this uh, video, so I'm hoping you guys will go and pick up one of them. This is my personal favorite uh, spirit darter that's in the game, and also when we were doing one of my previous videos when I was over here uh, with Savage, I did mention that this was going to be a possibility very, very soon. Let's go ahead and tame beast. Absolutely beautiful looking creatures. So, so nice. I really, really love these guys. Uh, so all you need to do is get uh, your renown up to 23 with the Valdraken Accord. Let me see if I can zoom in on him here at all there we go i haven't quite figured out what the name is going to be yet but i absolutely love this such a beautiful looking model i'm so glad that this is finally something that we can uh tame uh, let me know if you guys go and get one of the uh fey daughters it doesn't have to be this one there's several uh throughout azeroth and let's go ahead and check out the next pet in the video and the next pet on my list is going to be Sulong, which is found in the Terrace of Endless Spring Raid. So if you guys don't know where that is, it is in Mist of Pandari, and it's in the Veiled Stair, which is actually where the Black Market Auction House used to be. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, it's in between the Jade Forest and the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. So you're going to want to go ahead and come over here to Terrace of Endless Spring, and you do have to clear a couple of boss encounters really quick beforehand. Uh, but while we're doing this, we can go ahead and talk about uh, what you need uh, to do to go ahead and tame this guy for your very own. Uh, so you do have to have exalted status with the Order of the Cloud Serpents, and they have their own uh, different dailies that you can do uh, each and every day if you'd like. If you go ahead and pop out over here, speaking of that, it's over here with the uh, Arboretum, and there it's a fairly quick um, grind, if you will, rep-wise. And then what you'll need to do is go ahead and buy a book, which is called How to School Your Serpent. You know, how it's how you get around copyright. And all you need to do is get that on one character. It doesn't have to be uh, your hunter, because it is an item that is bind on account. And I, of course, will go ahead and put that information to the item from uh, Wowhead down in the description of this video. Hey, I got a piece of transmog. That's pretty cool. So now we're going to go ahead and clear out the first uh, boss encounter. And then here comes our prize. Uh, and this is one of my favorite pets. I, I've got, I have it on one of my other characters, but I didn't have it on Greeley yet. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity uh, to add it to the video. And the interesting thing is this is actually Shaw's mount. So if we come over here to mount here... Uh, Shah of Anger, I can't spell. So it is the Heavenly Onyx Cloud Serpent. This is a very rare mount, and this is going to be a cool addition to my collection. Let's go ahead and walk up here and go ahead and tame him. 
so he he does that quite often where he'll um, make sure that you don't actually tame him right away but there we go tamed him for our very own he doesn't keep his name so please guys let me know down in the comments what you think i should name this beauty uh but don't worry uh here in about 30 seconds if you still want to go ahead and clear this dungeon or this raid i should say he will pop up there uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this guy real quick such a beautiful creature that's one reason why i love the mount from shaw of anger so much so glad that it's more attainable in fact i'm so glad i have it never thought i would but let's go ahead and admire this one for just a second more and head over to the uh, next pet on my list hey look he's up and coming in at three on my list is going to be nyx which you can actually see just below us which is going to be a blue and yellow uh bog fly so it is found here in Loch modon uh, if you guys are unfamiliar it's basically the middle of the eastern kingdoms area uh just to the uh, southwest of uh, Twilight Highlands. That might be the easiest way for you to get here as Horde, or currently in Season 2 of Dragonflight, you can take a portal that'll take you to the Badlands for Mythic Plus when you go and do Alderman Legacy of Tear. So let's go ahead and drop down here and tame it, keep it for our very own. It does keep its name whenever you uh, tame this beautiful looking creature. I, I don't know, I uh, this are, these are not pets that I use all the time, but man, when I see these and I see another hunter with one of these random flyers or like a spore bat or something like that, I just know that that player absolutely loves that pet that they have, or it goes with their mog, something like that. Uh, often overlooked, but man, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. It does keep the name, like I said. I uh, hope you guys will add this one to your collection. And once again, it is found here in the middle of uh, the now drained lock in Lock Modon. And then also, uh, let's go ahead and check out the next one. And coming in at number four on my list is going to be Orlix the Swamp Lord, which is actually right behind me right now. Uh, so this is found here in the northwestern corner of the Swamp of Sorrows, just north of where you can find Gib the Banana Hoarder. In fact, Gib was one of the very first pets on my first pet uh, taming video. I will put all of those videos down in the description below if you want to check all those out. That is the monkey with the fez. Uh, so let's go ahead and tame Orlix here real fast, and he does uh, retain that name. So, whoops, there we go. I, I started when I was on my mount, so it made me uh, redo it there. But there we go. So he looks kind of um, red whenever you're here in the Swamp of Sorrows because of the light. But let's go ahead and head over to Red Ridge really fast, and I'll show you exactly what this guy actually looks like. So let's fly right over here real fast, get off the mount, and now check out Orlix. So he does keep that name and as you can see, he is a beautiful purple color. There's not too many of these solithid wasps that are going to be this color. I hope you guys will add this to your collection. Go grab Gib as well. And we're actually going to head back over uh, here in just a second to Swamp of Sorrows again and get another pet, which is going to be Chupacabros. And coming in at number five on my list is going to be Kirat, or at least I think that's how you say it. Uh, so this is going to be found here in Feralis in the Writhing Deep, which is just south of Camp Mohachi. Uh, so this is a white solithid looking wasp. And in fact, I try not to double dip on the families, but gosh dang it, I found this one. And I, I ran into this one in uh, Classic, and it wasn't tameable then, but obviously it's tameable now. And this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's like a, a bone white looking uh, solithid flyer. So we just have to look around for it just a little bit. Uh, I've had a lot of luck. In fact, here it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and get down here and tame it real fast. It, it can go and be throughout the hive so you will want to make sure and look for it a little bit as you can see it's a it's a like a bone white uh looking solithid flyer so let's take this one out real fast uh, and just check this guy out because he does uh, keep the name and it is a bone white flyer and i absolutely love this pet it's a bone white and it's got that black ass accents there the wings look amazing you're going to ruin my shot get the heck out of here uh, but i hope you guys add the, this one to your collection oh, so let's go ahead and check out the next one and the next pet on my list is going to be Sporagon, which you can already see behind me, which is here in the Eastern Plaguelands. So 
So it's just north of the Crown Guard Tower, and it is a brown uh, spore bat. So let that pop there. It has a three hour respawn time, believe it or not. And this was added in 5.2 when they revamped a lot of these old areas for Missa Pandaria and the uh, Throne of the Thunder King. All right, so let's go ahead and add this one to our collection. And it does have all the little particle effects around the side as well and underneath. Kind of cool. And this is the older, I guess it's the most updated model for the Spore Bat. It's updated in comparison to the BC model for sure, but it does keep its name. Not anything too crazy, but I just remember that the Spore Bats used to be so strong. Uh, not so much anymore. Uh, but I hope you guys will add this to your collection. It's always a, a nice little dude. I really like this one. Let's go ahead and check out the next pet on our list. Coming in at number seven on my list is honestly kind of like a six for one because there are six different colors. It's going to be the new horn swags that were added here in Dragonflight. So they are uh, this dragon slash frog behind me and they are found, all six colors are found in the Cascades which are just south of Valdraken. In fact, if I look up, Valdraken is right there. So there are six different colors, like I said, there's going to be orange, red, yellow, blue, black, and green. So for example, here's yellow, Here's green, uh, let's see, uh, here's blue. I know that they are all here. Here's red, and I think over here there was an orange one. Yes, so who knows, I'll probably pick up that orange one too since that is, of course, my favorite color. Uh, but to go ahead and tame these guys, which I'm gonna do that real quick. Start the taming process. Uh, so you do have to get uh, rank 23 Renown with the Valdraken Accord, which should be pretty easy at this point. That way uh, you can pick up the book How to Train Your Dragonkin, since these are considered lesser dragonkin. And we've got a couple of other dragons that will be out here very soon on some of my other videos. But let me know in the comment section down below, are you guys going to be picking up one of these lesser dragonkin? That are basically dragon frogs and if so what should i name mine because these are chunky boys and this guy is just hogging up all of his screen time but there are so many cool different colors and i can't wait for them to add a purple one i know that Haley would definitely like it if i had a purple one or if i maybe even if i got her to play wow she'd probably pick a purple one as well so i hope you guys will add this to your collection pretty cool little thing and coming in at number eight on my list is going to be another lesser dragonkin, although this dragonkin is a little bit bigger than the others, which is going to be Shanala Lost to the Tangle, which is right behind me. Unfortunately, I don't think that they keep their name. I know, sad. But this is the only red veil wing currently available in the game. And this does uh, semi-match the, uh, the mount that was given away uh, for six months of time back in uh, Shadowlands. In fact, if you you don't like the red one there is so many different ones these mist feather matriarchs this is the one that actually matches uh the the mount and you've got the agitated mist weaver although that one's uh that one's kind of having some problems it looks like but let's go ahead and tame shanala here i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and like i said it's the only one currently available in the game that's red and it does not keep the name. It does get significantly smaller. It's kind of weird seeing this one uh, so small. I probably actually have a, uh, let me check. Probably have my lesser proportion. No, actually I don't. So it just is that small. Very interesting. Uh, but like the other uh, Dragonkin on the list, you do have to get Renown 23 with the Valdraken Accord and then go purchase the book, How to Train Your Dragonkin. And that of course is found in the description of the video if you guys wanna go check that out. And I was so excited about this pet that I forgot to show you guys where it is. So I'm so sorry about that. It is in Shadowlands and it is in Ardenweald. So you come down here where I am here on the map and it is the Mist Veil Tangle. And it's not associated with any sort of world quest or anything like that that this uh, pet is just always up. And next up on my list is going to be an armored boar, which is Augzilla. If anything, this made it to the list because of that amazing name. And it's found here in the Searing Gorge. Basically, start heading over to Black Rock Mountain. And if I go up here, uh, there are the steps that go up to into Black Rock Mountain. You just come over here to the west just a little bit, and he will most likely be waiting for you because I haven't found any issues with so many people still over in Dragonflight. This is a perfect opportunity to go out here and tame some of these pets. So it's an updated boar model. It does have all that brand new 
uh, armor. In fact, I have some previous videos that has blue armor. There's the one that's over... Let me see if I can remember where he is. Over here in... Uh, Duskwalla Marsh, I think it was Scruff, yeah, right over here. Wow, we did that b video 226 days ago, good lord. Anyway, uh, Hogzilla is here and now added to my collection. May not be unique, but has a unique name, gets to keep that name, that's so cool. Uh, I, I'm hoping that one of you guys will at least uh, go and add it to your collection. And now let's go ahead and head over to Blackwing Descent, which is where I was headed for one of the next pets. And coming in at number 10 on my list is going to be a new pet from Dragonflight, which is the Lava Phoenix. And actually, the color that I want is heading towards us. Uh, so, there's, so there's three different colors. There's going to be yellow, orange, and there is a dark, like, bloody red almost. So it's found here in the Zaralek Cavern. All three colors can be found here, which is just south of the Avarice entrance for the raid. So I want to go ahead and... Tame this guy really quick. Orange is my favorite color, and this is interesting because normally phoenixes are uh, considered an elemental. So these are actually birds of prey. So you have three different colors, like I said. There is yellow, there is orange, which is this guy here, and then there is red. I know of one other one that is up right now, so let me go see if I can show you the other colors really quick. Those are mammoths. So let's go ahead. Oh, I see one right now. So this is the red one. It is absolutely beautiful as well. I hope that you guys will at least go and check these out. They're brand new models. They are like the uh, the Onaran uh, Phoenix bird, whatever, what have you, uh, type of creature. But absolutely beautiful as well. And then I'm just going to check over here really quick to see if there's a yellow one up. I don't think there is, but the yellow one is actually found elsewhere. The orange one is only found here in the caverns, so you don't need to do anything special to unlock the caverns on your hunter. You can come down here and it'll automatically be good to go. Uh, so I hope you guys will add this one to your collection, and let's go ahead and bring it out one last time. Beautiful looking thing here. I waited just a little bit to make sure I got the orange one for the video. But I hope you guys will add this one to your collection. Uh, let me know, what, what should I name it? And don't tell me Cheeto, because I already had uh, one person <laughs> tell me Cheeto when I told him what uh, pets I was after. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. And this next pet on my list is going to be a pet that is missed list so many times, but number 11 is going to be Chimeron, which is actually one of the bosses in Blackwing Descent. So before we actually go in and tame the beast, I do want to show you guys where uh, you can find the entrance to the uh, dungeon if you are unfamiliar. There we go. So I, it always shows me the world map if I'm right next to the entrance. But come to the Burning Steps. So the Burning Steps is that way. And then if you come over here is Searing Gorge. You can go either way. You just want to fly from the Badlands area and then fly up here. This is actually where the Nefarian fight is in Blackwing Lair. And we're going to go ahead and fly right up over here and take this uh, entrance to the uh, raid itself. We're going to kill some bosses and then we're going to get up to Chimeron and then we'll go ahead and tame him. All right, so I've cleared up to Chimeron here in the raid. You only have to kill the first two bosses, and then he will be to the left of the uh, circle. The problem is, to tame Chimeron, you do have to get him below 20% health. So I am completely naked right now, and there is a good chance I am going to one-shot him with a punch anyway. So what you want to do is go and get res sickness, and that will make it a little bit easier. I'm going to give this a shot, and we're going to see if I kill him. Okay, nope, we're good. So just go ahead and punch him up a little bit here. We'll get him. Hopefully I don't crit. Ooh, it's scaring me a little bit. 24%? Come on now. 11%. There we go. So he's big and bad now, and let's go ahead and tame him for our very own. And this is, like I said, a pet that has been uh, something I've wanted to add to a list for a long time. Hey, that's so not so bad. Uh, so he does keep his name. Pretty cool looking stuff there. I don't know. I, if, I, if I saw somebody running after me with this pet, I think... Uh, I would be pretty scared. And this is one of the uh, Hydra pets officially, so it's not like a, a specialty pet or anything like that. I just noticed that one of the heads is actually just a hand. 
that's kind of cool and something like i said that i've never noticed before before so i hope you guys will add this one to your collection and now let's go ahead and check out the next pet on the list so the next pet on my list is going to be Chupacabros, which you can see is the raptor behind me. So Chupacabros is found here in the Swamp of Sorrows. I told you guys after I got Orlix earlier that we were going to head back over here. And of course, we've already got Gib the Banana Hoarder. So why not add another Swamp of Sorrows tame to my list? This is probably going to be towards the end of the video, uh, but he just has a special name. So he is going to be the... Uh, the horned uh, raptors that you'll see like um, in Blades Edge Mountains, for example. But he does retain the name whenever you tame him. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. It's actually kind of cool. I had no idea that this was added uh, back in 5.2 when they revamped a lot of these old world uh, areas with new pets. Uh, so Chupacabros just is a special name. It doesn't have a special model, but it's kind of like a, uh, a venom looking uh, raptor. Perfect for, you know, RP, something like that. This is just something that... I just randomly found while looking and just added it to this video. I, I really like this uh, Raptor model. It's personally one of my favorites. Kind of looks kind of plain nowadays. Maybe it'll get a, a remodel at some point. But I hope you guys uh, will check this guy out make him uh, your own uh, today. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. So it seems every time I'm headed for one pet, I find a couple of others to add to this list. So the list just keeps growing. So here I am in the Eastern Plaguelands, just to the west of the Maristed, and we have Lick the Hunter, or li Lick, like? I think it's Lick, L-I-K-K, the Hunter. And it is a, uh, a bony looking um, spider. So let's go ahead and add that to our collection really quick. It's got some spider webs already attached to its, I grizzly looking guy honestly uh i i i don't have arachnophobia but i definitely don't like spiders and if i saw somebody using this pet like on pvp for example i'd be a little afraid uh, but it's got like the uh the sea green neon looking eyes it keeps the name and it has just a unique looking uh design and of course it does keep that name like i said Let's go ahead and head over to the real pet I was headed to, which is uh, Sporagon over there. But hopefully you guys will consider adding this to your collection. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And be sure and follow me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mr. Eggplant. These pet tame videos are so much fun because I get to go back to the old world that I don't really get to visit very often. It really brings me back to those classic roots, whether that be classic vanilla or classic wrath of the lich king i'm going to have more of these videos out very soon one's going to be just for new models in dragonflight but for now this will just have to do so thank you guys for watching and be sure and leave me a comment let me know what your favorite pet is for this video thanks for watching